Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the fascinating new mega figure from McPerlin DC Multiverse, Kryptonite Doomsday. Now, this isn't the doomsday we all know from the Death of Superman storyline. This is Joshua Walker, a Kansas farm boy with dreams of making his parents proud and serving his country. He volunteered for Amanda Waller's Last Line experimental program, fully aware that service meant sacrifice. Uh, the program used Kryptonite as bonding agent to merge Joshua's DNA with Doomsday's, transforming him into an unstoppable monster known as the All-American Boy. Walker's sole mission was to subdue Superman and, if necessary, kill the Man of Steel. So, let's get into it and see how this incredible figure brings this powerful character to life. Alright, let's start with the packaging. Right up front, we've got this huge window showing off the figure with DC Multiverse Kryptonite Doomsday prominently displayed. First impressions, no accessories aside from the standard McFarlane base and art card, which is a bit of a bummer. Moving to the side, we see DC Multiverse Kryptonite Doomsday Superman Batman, referencing to the comics where this character made his appearance. And on the back, there's a striking piece of art featuring Doomsday's hand holding Superman's cape and Batman's skull. It's a cool touch that sets the tone for this epic figure. Now, let's crack this open and see what Kryptonite Doomsday is all about. Now, let's dive into the details of this figure. This Kryptonite Doomsday is a complete retool of the Doomsday from the Superman vs. Doomsday 2 fact released previously. First difference, he comes with a completely different head sculpt. And then the bone protrusions are colored green, which I think is glow in the dark. Let's let's test that later if they do glow in the dark. Even his eyes and teeth are painted green. However, I do wonder why they didn't paint these bone protrusions in his chest and this green since they are supposed to be the same material, which I guess in this case, the reason why they're green is they're supposed to be kryptonite. Thus, the kryptonite doomsday name. I think it would have been cool if this is also colored green. I'm not sure if it is showing in the camera, but uh, Kryptonite Doomsday is painted darker gray as compared to the light gray that was used from the previous release. The green boots and shorts from the original figure is changed into a, a darker gray color. And also the belt and the other straps in his leg and boots are basically the same mold, but a more darker shade of silver. Overall, these changes give him a more menacing look. Uh, let's get him under some light and see if the green really glows. Let me just turn off the lights
Hmm. Doesn't really glow that much. Let's me let me put it under a black light. Maybe it's a black black light effect. Okay, let's try putting him under some black light. Okay. So under a black light, they do glow. I mean even that I even those eyes and teeth glows. So under a black light, this kryptonite portion actually looks good. Let's just light him a little for a while, for a minute, because uh, some of those glow in the dark items that uh, figures that. McPerlene actually produced that I bought. Uh, although I put them under a light, they didn't glow, but after I used this black light and then turn it off, okay, there, they do glow now. They do have a glow now. So give me a minute and g just give me a minute of camera and I'll try to put them under a black light and see if they glow more. Okay, after putting it under a black light for a while and now we can, and well, I also turn off the background and now you can see that it does glow pretty well. So that glow in the dark portion Of the figure actually works pretty well. Let me rotate it. There. It does look good. It does look good, man. That glow in the dark portion. And it would have been better, as I said, if that bo those bone protection also at the back and at the front or some painted green. Because I don't know, because for me, I think those are also bone protrusions. So if they are the same material, they should also be green. But this, this glow, this is amazing. Okay, now let's go to the articulation. Since this is the same mold and they didn't change anything. So no articulation improvement was made on this figure which again, same reaction as the, as the Bane figure they reissued on that Nightfall 2 fact set. It's really a bummer. I mean, these reissues should have been a chance for them to at least improve the articulation. And if you did not like the articulation of, of Bane, I'm not sure if you're also going to be happy with the articulation of this figure. The head, I don't know, maybe it's because of the shape of the hair, so you cannot really move it that much because of all these things that are in the way, the bone protrusion. So you can just, I think, I think she can look down. She can look, it can look down, but it can't look up because of that hair side by side yeah you can fiddle with it but yeah as i said this there are just a lot of stuff that are in the way here and then the worst that i don't really like in this figure is that i don't know why mcperlane keep giving their use figure just a single joint here so the range is only up to that now, the reason why I said that if you did not like Bane's articulation, you wouldn't like this more because at least Bane is double jointed here. Doomsday is not. So, man, that's a terrible range. That's all you can, that's all, that's the only range you, you, you can get from him on the leg. 
I, I, I don't know. I don't really like this single joint that they do, and then you can just rot rotate them here. They, they just don't look normal to me when you pose them. So even on the hands, so basically the, the rotation will be here, which maybe for the hand it's so it's more okay. But for the leg, I don't think rotate I mean that rotation here is normal. Or for me it just look weird. Wow, wait, that got disconnected pretty fast. Okay, since this already popped up, and I'm I'm also want to point this out, I don't know why McFarlane keep doing this, and, but I'm pretty sure it is not for articulation because, as far as the articulation in this design, okay, it did, it did pop in pretty quick too. This doesn't work. Sometimes it just gets stuck like that. Because they don't give a poor a full mo uh, round mold there, so yeah, the, this is something that McFarlane need to change in their engineering, not just for this mega for the mega pig, but basically for most of their, well, actually all of their figures. This is how they design their. I don't know if, 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 if this is their version of, um, of butterfly articulation, but it is not working or maybe just to cover. Yeah, the only thing that this does is cover some of the gap, but you all you all saw what happened with that Wonder Woman figure wherein the, the, it is also designed this way. So gaps still happen and sometimes they get this gets stuck and you have to move it in order to pose it the way you like it. So again, same articulation as been here. Although the advantage, uh, the, the, the thing that Doomsday has that Bane doesn't is that he has that hub, uh, that cut in the abdomen, so we can do that. And then he also has a waist rotation. So combining that, Doomsday has better articulation when it comes to the abdomen as compared to the Bane figure. Can he do the bandam? Well, at least he can still do the bandam. Can he kick? He can kick that far. He can kick back that. Okay, that's that's not bad. I guess for the leg, I just really don't like that this is single jointed. Then for the knee, for the ankle, can move like that. And then, does it have? Wow, wait. I've just noticed this that Doomsday doesn't have a toe articulation. Is it the same on the. Yeah. Wow, this is the this is the first. This is a rare coincidence. This is a rare. You know, this is a rare decision that they do because usually whatever the the whatever one of the things that I like about McFarlane is they always have that toe articulation here. But in the case of Doomsday, they don't. So, yeah, as far as articulation, this is not the most articulated figure, but. Does it look badass? Yes, it does. I almost forgot. Maybe the reason why they removed that the articulation here, it is a replacement for this articulation, jaw articulation. Maybe that's it. Since he has jaw articulation, they removed the articulation here. Anyway, that's just my theory. Overall, the changes that they made in this figure actually actually is pretty cool because, well, despite the fact that I know that this is a completely different Doomsday character, this Doomsday looks more menacing that, than this first release 
that they did because I always felt that this first release is too light in color. You know, the green that they choose is too is too light. And then the gray that they use is also too light, which is why the bone protrusions doesn't really show that well, especially in in on video or in photos, because yeah, I, I've always thought that this figure needed better paintwork. And I believe that in a way this new figure solves that because well, the bones are green because they're supposed to be kryptonite. But yeah, I do like I do like the glow in the dark and the black light effect that they do. I just really wish that they went all the way and made all those other protruding bones in his body also green. It may not be the most articulated figure, but let's face it, that's really not McFarlane's strength. The strength of McFarlane is in the sculpt and well, this is a very well sculpted Doomsday. I know that for some people, they, you know, they prefer articulation over, over sculpt or detail, or maybe they want both. But yeah, I, I do believe that in a way, McFarlane has improved on the articulation. It is not just at that level that they are really poorly articulated figures, but uh when it comes to sculpt especially especially for characters that look like this this is actually McPerlin Sporte and I love how this doomsday looks and I'll probably display him uh in my shelf instead of this one because I always get get the reaction from my friends when they see this that this 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 needs a better paint job because again the mold is there McPerlin has is really good when it comes to mold, especially again, especially for characters like this that looks like this. But yeah, the paint they just really miss the, miss the spot on this one when it comes to the paint. And yeah, for me this one looks better because the bones in, because they are green, you can see them more clearly. Anyway, guys, if you've reached this part of my video, thank you for the support. To all the people who subscribe, also, thank you for, again, thank you. Uh, that really helps a lot. And again, guys, enjoy life and keep collecting.